We're in the uh, umpire's room at Citizens Bank Park. My name is Daniel Rourke. I'm manager of equipment and umpire services for the Phillies. I'm just I'm applying mud to the baseball um, to take the sheen, the shininess off the ball so the pitchers have something to hold on to. You know, I'll get a better grip. I mean, the major leagues use it, the minor leagues use it, everybody uses it. I, it's been going on for probably a hundred years, close to that. I think it started in the early 1900s, um, where I think a player was killed, and then they started to uh, mud the baseballs. And it comes from the Delaware. Um, other than that, the the area's kind of guy doesn't give it up where exactly it's from. And they say it's the Delaware River somewhere by the Tycone Bridge. That's all I know. I'm Jim Bentliff. I'm the president of Lena Blackburn Baseball Rubbing, Rubbing Mud Company. Started back in the, uh, in the 1920s, baseball started using new balls for every game. The new balls presented a problem. They were, they were slick with a factory coating, a gloss, that made it hard for the pitchers to grip. So the umpires and, the, and the, the pitchers tried to figure out something to take that slick feel off the ball without scratching the leather or, or discoloring the ball. And they tried tobacco juice and infield dirt. Everything they used either made the ball too dark to use where it would damage the leather or the laces on the ball. So Lena Blackburn, he was a player and a coach. He used to fish in the, this area. He saw this mud and he experimented with it and came up same with, with Lena's problem. magic mud. It's just a little gritty for their liking. Um. The mud that you find in a tidal freshwater area, like the Delaware, it's about you know, I'll just use a 20 to 80 percent mix of organic matter versus inorganic matter, uh, mineral material. And that mineral material in the, in the Delaware, and especially in the tidal freshwater in the Jersey side, is a lot of glauconite. These are clay materials, calcium carbonate from various uh, formations that are there. It's, it's a lot of clays, a lot of feldspars that make up the mineral fraction, that, give it, that help give it its texture um, and look and feel. It's, it's fairly slick here, and putting the mud on it does rough up the surface here a little bit and adds a little color to it so your fingers can stay situated. Um, that's how I'd imagine the mud works. You don't want to make it too dark, then the hitters complain that they can't see the baseball. And then sometimes, you know, the pitchers don't like it if it's too light because they don't have a grip. You know, I mean, you get some where the mud could be perfect, but maybe the pitcher doesn't like the seams or the leather. You know, sometimes that the mud doesn't take to the leather, and I could put as much mud as I want, and the ball still seems slick. It's mud. It's the kind of mud I played with as a kid, I think. It's mud to me.